the silhouette of a person walking to the heaven gates and um, some clouds and a woman crying on the other side of his neck. I didn't put the stencil up, but you know when I put it up, it's gonna be some hot shit. The more you're surrounded by other artists, it only bounces influences from influence, which makes us create even better art. So I like the environment of working here because we got serious artists here, which makes you become more of a serious artist because others, other people take it serious too. Hi camera, my name is Sean. I got a beard and I'm like, is that a heart? Is that a heart? No, that's not a heart, nigga. That's a bike mark. My dick hurt. It's a love bite. So whoever took, took, whoever left my cord and didn't leave the, the fucking walkies, I want my shit. Yeah, yeah, I do like, be going through it. My name is Robin. I go by Robin Hoods. You're really good. I didn't kill her. Everyone's alive. The rest of my work. <laughs> the only person I'm coming back to. I just finished her. Excuse my turban right now. Hard work, you know. Um, she has a quote on her shoulder. I also gave her a little rose hair. We gotta cover that back up. Um, a little rose hair with some of the stem and leaves. And then I also gave her an add-on hair with some more leaves and a little tiny rose bud. The shop is a great shop to work at, um, first and foremost, because I like to try to support, like, you know, as many black businesses as I can. So that's one thing that kind of stuck out to me. Um, you don't really find a lot of that in, like, Cambridge, Alston, and other areas around Boston. I say people would come get tatted by me because, well, starting off, a lot of, a lot of the, the people that I started with, you know, have kind of, like, followed my my drawing and everything like growing up through high school and stuff like that a, a few of the people that I started tattooing at first like for canvas pieces and things um they knew me like for a while so they kind of like you know trusted me with the skill um and I would say just kind of because I, I look out for my clients too like I always check in with them like during the tattoo after the tattoo how everything's going how everything's healing and stuff like that I also try to be really fair with my pricing as an apprentice Set. For the year, this like the last one for it's the year. only March. Cause I, I next I gotta get my neck tat, and my neck sleeve, and then I gotta do the inside of my arms. Your neck's not gonna be that bad. You're crazy. My I neck did, was the I worst did, like, one I've ever Three got. necks this week. <laughs> the neck tattoo was the worst tattoo I've ever got. It was got. like, oh, this is nothing. Hell nah, they on drugs. That's crazy. That shit hurt. My worst one was my neck tat. My worst one was my stomach and then my chest. Neck and ribs for me. And then the chest, I'm still not even done yet. This stomach's catching up though, no bullshit. I'm <laughs> shaking like a stripper right now. I started tattooing because I pretty much grew up drawing. That's kind of something I picked up from my dad. I've always done it as a kid. So it was kind of like me looking for something to do with it. Um, I had a lot of friends that would tell me that like, you know, I should get into it. And at one point I wasn't even interested to be honest, but um, the more that I started to kind of hang around other artists and stuff like that, I was like, I could do this. Uh, no <laughs> the best because I feel like I'm a perfectionist, so I try to pay a lot of attention to detail. If you want to bang it out today, we'll bang it out today. But if you really can't take it, you can come back. Nah, I can't stop moving. I <laughs> look my body's dead ass. I can't stop moving. Like I'm gonna shake the whole time. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Let me. So let me finish this A, and then we'll see. Oh my god. Oh no. Yeah, we're talking. We're finishing them all. Fuck that. It ain't chant no more. It's victim. Facts. <laughs> dead. I apologize. Come. 
get this finished tomorrow. This is about to. Hopefully, I can take it a little better. Yeah, cause hopefully, cause, cause hopefully cause I can take it a little better. It's all my fault. It is. It is. I mean, honestly, no bullshit though. Like you are very light-handed, and I appreciate that. Yeah. But once you start nah, I know. shading, that shit is crazy. yeah, it's like it's it's unforgivable. I mean, like these little things right here, these become very pricey because those things are detailed. Like, like there's a magic going in here. I know. Tattoo me. Our clients are not just clients. It's not just business here. It's more like a family. You know what I mean? When you come to me, I'm like a therapist. I'm I'm hearing your story. I'm telling you advice. You're giving me advice. And we get to know each other personally, you know what I mean? And I also get to express my artistic side to you crea creatively, you know what I mean? So come in here, we give you that custom feeling, that family feeling. The shop has been going real smooth today. It's a lot of in and outs, but we get in. We're picking it up. As an artist, I know how it feels to be alone. I know how it feels like you see in each artist, once you're a real true artist, you see your artistic self in them. And 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 you know if we work together, we can overcome any obstacle. You know what I mean? No matter what it is, you think of the idea and I'll ink it. Alright? That's 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 the only thing you need to worry about. It's coming out here with an idea. Once you come up with the idea, leave everything else to me and I got you. Don't worry, I got you. Like, we're building a bond, a friendship that's never gonna break, if that makes any sense. <laughs>